Hello boys and girls. Today we are taking you on a journey, a love story from Jesus to you. During his last days, Jesus knew he would go to death. He went to the cross for you, for the love of you. He did this knowing what he would go through, but knowing that someday you would be here walking the journey with him. I would like to start with a prayer before we walk the stations of the cross. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Close your eyes. Dear God, please be with each and every person who walks with us today through your stations. Let their hearts, their minds, their souls, and their spirits truly connect with you and feel you within their heart. Let them feel the love that you give to them every single day. Thank you for letting us walk this journey with you. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Let's go on a journey with Jesus. The beginnings of the story. The story of the cross is the story of a man named Jesus. It begins with a visit from an angel. Long ago in a little town of Nazareth, there lived a little girl named Mary. She was soon to be married. Then one day the angel appeared to her and said, peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Mary was alarmed. Who was this visitor? What did the words mean? The angel said to her, don't be afraid, Mary. God has been gracious to you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. Mary was puzzled, but she agreed to do as God wanted. An angel also spoke to Joseph, the man she was to marry, and Joseph agreed to look after Mary and her special baby. Months later, Mary and Joseph had to make a journey to Joseph's hometown in Bethlehem. The place was crowded and they had to stay in a stable. There, Jesus was born. Mary used a manger as his first cradle. Out on the hills, angels danced in the midnight sky. They sang the news to shepherds who were out watch over watching over their sheep. They told the men that a baby had been born the one chosen by God to bring justice and peace to the people. The shepherds came and found the baby. The place where he lay was dark and bare, but everything was just as the angels had said. Surely a little part of heaven had come to earth. The years passed and Jesus grew up to know and love God as child loves a good father. He learned the laws that God had given his people long ago. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and most important commandment. The second most important commandment is this, like this. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. He understood too how deep was God's love. He became a preacher and a teacher, traveling from one place to another to speak about God to anyone who would listen. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may become the children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun to shine on bad and good people alike and gives rain to those who do good and to those who do evil. People flocked to listen to Jesus. The things he said seemed good and right and were often wrapped up in stories that were clever and funny. He was also able to heal people with just a touch and many were eager to see his miracles. The religious teachers became suspicious. He claims to teach the laws of our people, they muttered, but he and many of his followers do not seem to be keeping our rituals and traditions. Indeed, he does not, replied the others. We have seen him heal people on the Sabbath, the day when our people are commanded to do no work. So his healings cannot be miracles from God, some argued. 
others were less sure. How can he work miracles of such love and goodness if he is a wrongdoer? In spite of all the good they had seen Jesus do, some people began to plot to have him put to death. It was no easy task. Jesus had a faithful band of close disciples who were always with him. The crowds treated him as a hero. Then one of the disciples grew disloyal for a handful of silver. The one named Judas Iscariot told Jesus' enemies where they could find him away from the crowds. One night while the disciples lay sleeping in the shady olive grove called Gethsemane, 